everyone, Val here, and it is time for another cooking collab. So uh, today we are going to do uh, barbecue recipes. I am hosting this collab this month, um, so I thought because we're in the middle of the summer, it's time for a barbecue. I'm going to be making this recipe and actually doing the barbecue inside. Uh, because my sisters are here, I have one sister here and one sister that will be coming in this afternoon and we are flying out for our missions trip to Alaska and I thought that it would be fun to make this recipe for them uh, so that we could have this for dinner tonight and then I'm going to post the recipe in August for our, our cook and collab. So everybody that's doing the collab will be listed in the uh, description box below so go check out all the channels see what kind of barbecue recipes they came up with and uh, hopefully you can try some of them in August so that uh, you can enjoy a month of barbecue mine fairly simple I am going to be doing a bacon pineapple barbecue chicken and uh, I found this recipe online I have not tried this recipe before it looks fairly healthy. I think it's fairly healthy. The only thing that might add some extra calories to it is your choice of barbecue sauce and there are some sugar-free wonderful um, Sweet Baby Ray's has a, a sugar-free barbecue sauce that I love um, but I'm not going to be using that today. I'm going to be using something a little bit different today that has sugar in it and I'm not going to worry about the sugar. So um, this recipe calls for four chicken breasts that are boneless. I have a pack with five in it. That's what I found in the store. There's one that's really small in here. I'm gonna cook them all. That way when we leave and go to Alaska tomorrow, myself and my two sisters, Steve will be home and he can eat the leftover. If he wants that leftover chicken, will probably be good tomorrow for him. Um, if you wanna check out our Alaska videos, we're gonna have, I'm gonna vlog the whole time I'm up there. They may or may not be posted by now, but uh, check out my Alaska playlist um, because they'll either be there now or, or they'll uh, be coming very shortly. So it's uh, four chicken breasts that are skinned, skinless and boneless, and that's what I have here, and I bought them that way so I don't have to do the extra work. A cup of barbecue sauce, and I'm going to use the Taste of Inspirations. I love their products. And this is the moonshine barbecue sauce. And this have notes of, it does have um, some pineapple in it. So it has pineapple juice concentrate in it. And this is a Hawaiian barbecue chicken. So we're gonna be using pineapple also. So I'm gonna be cutting up a fresh pineapple and that's gonna be going into the recipe also. It's calling for six strips of bacon cooked and diced. And I have center cut bacon here. It's calling for one-fourth red onion, about a fourth a cup of red onion. So I have a red onion here. It's calling for a cup of mozzarella shredded, shredded cheese. I have the uh, low moisture part skim milk shredded cheese. And then it's calling for two green onions diced. I have a bunch of green onions and Steve's not a big onion eater. So I'm going to cut these up and serve them up at the table so anybody can put it on their dish if they want it because it's actually a garnish. We're going to be having a green salad with our dinner tonight so they can use green onion on their salad if they want to. The rest I am going to freeze because I don't want them to go bad and uh, I know Steve won't eat them. We'll be gone for two weeks, uh, my sisters and I. So I'm going to get this recipe started by cutting my pineapple getting my bacon cooking, cutting up my onions, and, and getting everything prepared, all my stuff cut up. And then we're gonna come back and put it together. So let's get started. Got my bacon cooking here. It's doing really nice. I added an extra piece because I have an extra piece of chicken. So I said, yeah, why not, you know? I love this pan because this pan cooks evenly along the edges and everything. Let's get back in there. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to film and cook with my left hand. I'm not left-handed. So I'm going to have to switch over. 
And I'm gonna cook this crispy. I'm not a, if I eat bacon, I don't like it really crispy. But uh, this is gonna be crispy for the recipe. We'll let it keep cooking. I've got it on a medium heat. I turned my bacon down on a low. That way it can just cook slowly while I'm cutting up my onions. Just going to cut up the green onions. And like I said, these are going to be a garnish at the end. So I'm just going to dice them up and put them aside in a bowl. That way we can have them for garnish. We can also have them for our salads if we want them for our salads. And I'm just going to go down to just about where the green starts. I'm not going to use the green ends on those. Maybe the knife's not sharp enough. All right, that's going to be good enough. My bacon's cooking really nicely. So it's calling for one fourth a cup of red onion. So I'm going to dice up, and you can, if you have a, you know, a chopper or whatever, you could use a chopper. I'm not going to bring mine out and get it dirty. I can just chop this up so without a chopper. And it says sliced. It actually says sliced and it doesn't say diced. So I'm thinking they just want the slices on top. So I'm going to keep it just sliced for now like that. And I will put on a little bit of that. I'm going to take the rest of this red onion and dice it up and put it in my freezer because I know Steve will not be cooking red onion while I'm gone and uh, I don't want it to go to waste so I'm going to freeze what's left of this so let me just slice this up and freeze it now that I'm done cutting up my onion I am going to work on my pineapple so this says chunks so I'm just going to Slice it and then chunk it. I'm hoping it wasn't too green, but they didn't have a lot of selection at the food line I go to. And we don't have a lot of selections of other stores because we're living out in the middle of the lake and all we really have is close to us is the food line. So the next closest store is about a half hour or so away and that's a that's a Walmart. Let me get this uh, prepped and we'll get it cut up. Okay, I think I got it pretty good. Let's go cut it.
And then I'll probably cut it again just so I can make nice little chunks out of it. Let me uh, cut the core out. There we go. That's nice. And I'm just going to do chunks about that size. Okay, so let me get this chunked up. I'll get it in the bowl and we'll get this uh, dish put together. My bacon is cooked, so I'm just going to dice it up. It's calling for diced bacon. So I'm just going to dice it into smaller pieces. It's still warm. I just took it out of the pan not too long ago. I just set it on a paper towel to try to get some of the grease off it. So there we go. That's pretty good. Just going to take the pieces and put them in a bowl and have them ready for the recipe. Let's assemble. I have my casserole bowl and I'm ready to assemble. I am going to spray this with some cooking spray just because it makes cleanup easier. So let me just spray this down real quick with a cooking spray. And then because we're working with chicken, I've washed my hands, soap and water, and I'm going to be careful not to cross contaminate because we have some raw vegetables and pineapple and stuff here and I don't want to contaminate it with chicken juice so be careful when you're using uh, when you're dealing with raw chicken. So I have tongs and my chicken are in this little pan in the sink here. I've rinsed them off and I'm just going to lay them in the bottom of this casserole dish. And I have five pieces, and this dish is fairly large, so go this way. Arrange them in there nicely. Okay, I'm not going to use that utensil to touch anything else. So it's saying add the chicken breast to the casserole dish, uh, and then put your barbecue sauce on. And this is calling for one cup of barbecue sauce. I forgot to open my barbecue sauce. One cup. That's a lot. All right. That's a cup. Well, it smells so good. All right, so I'm just going to lay this on pretty thick because it's calling for a whole cup here. And I'm actually even going to flip these over and do the other side to make sure I have a, some good sauce on them. That looks good.
get them sauced up nicely. Aren't they pretty? That's some nice looking chicken breasts right there. And these are kind of thick, so they're probably going to take a, a lot longer to cook than 30 minutes. But I'll keep an eye on them. to add the diced pineapples. So this is calling for one cup of pineapple slices. I'm just going to put a generous portion on there. Who doesn't like pineapple? And these can be cut smaller if you wanted to cut these smaller too. But I think being that this is the chicken's larger, it's going to cook down fairly well. So I think that's probably a cup or so anyway. We'll save some of the pineapple for dinner. Oops. All right. There we go. And then it's saying on top of that, top with the red onion. So we have the red onion here, and my hands are clean because I did wash them after I uh, touched the chicken too. Or I didn't really touch it, but I used the tongs to touch the chicken. And I'm going to put all of the red onion that I cut in there. So it's going to cook down anyway. I know Steve is not a big fan of onion. He may or may not eat it, but if he doesn't want it, he can just take it off his piece of chicken. So there we go. That's done. So the bacon will come next. Oh, that looks wonderful. And then it says top with shredded mozzarella and it's calling for one cup of shredded mozzarella. So we're gonna put it we're gonna put a generous cup on there. There we go. How does that look? That look good? All right, so we're gonna bake it at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes, uncovered until the chicken is thoroughly cooked and no longer pink. I think it's gonna take a little bit longer than that. Um, so we're gonna get this into the oven in just a few minutes. Our chicken is done and this is what it looks like and the recipe says that we can garnish it with scallions with the green onions and a little more pineapple if we want to. I did cut these pineapple chunks pretty large so I think it's looking really good. We're going to serve this up. We're cooking. We are serving it with some rice on the side. We have salad fixings and we have a fruit salad. So this is going to be our dinner tonight. Everybody's going to give it a try. Teresa's here, my sister Teresa. We have Karen and we have Steve, and we're going to see if it is Steve approved. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Top five. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed it is. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. All right, Steve's going to go first. What do you think? I'm not sure what I got there. He's scurred. It's um, chicken with pineapple bacon barbecue sauce it's hawaiian bacon hawaiian barbecue chicken it's good you like it mm -hmm. oh steve approved Woo that's one thumbs up okay what about you she's got two thumbs up 
What about you? I'm not usually a fan of pineapple on chicken, but this is very good. Very good. All right. This, this is a new recipe I found online. So um, it is, it's wonderful. It is uh, something new I'm trying. It's good. Oh my gosh, it is good. It's got really good flavor. Mm -hmm. Very good flavor. Maybe I just haven't had the right recipes. Oh my goodness, it's great. I recommend this recipe. This is a good recipe. You'll find it in the description box below. So if you want to try it, feel free to try it out. Check out all the recipes from everybody else who's cooking in this month's collab. Thank you all for watching. And uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, check out our Alaska trip that should be posted um, or is being posted now. And uh, we'll catch you all on the next video. Bye now. Say bye. 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 Say bye, Steve. Don't go. <laughs>